So the first thing we need to do is to square uh, the pieces of the cowhide leather because I cut them very rough. I'm using the carpenter square and this is cutting mat so I don't damage my table. Of course we want to cut as little as possible. Okay, I'm referencing from this edge, which already has some kind of Velcro, which is a good thing for me. Maybe I can use it, I will see. Okay, very nice. And here we have the second piece, which will be stitched to the previous one. Sometimes you get very lucky with finding this kind of treasure on the street. You can see it's very, very strong. Okay, and the other end. Nice and straight. We will put these two pieces together and stitch them. So what I will do first, I'm going to staple these two pieces together so they don't move. And then I will punch the holes. All right. So now we have both pieces straight. I'm going to staple them, but I want to try on some scrap pieces. Okay, it worked very well. So I'm going to proceed. Okay, done. It looks good. So the next step, I will bring some cardboard and punch the holes for the first saddle stitch. Okay. And another one. Put the needle through. Catch it on the other side with the needle underneath. Push the left one through the same hole. Now make a loop. I cannot believe my own eyes that I finished the whole length. My 
first stitching is done you can see it's quite nice it's a really really the first time ever okay so here is the the right side okay so now let me see what is the width Ta -da. looks nice as you can see I am using the carton board to minimize the mess And traditionally, okay, looks good. Now we are doing the second glue up. The cover will be able to flip slightly at the back and at the front. And let's measure how much we want to cut out from here to allow the music stand. Okay, so the piano is 29 or 290 millimeters. Let's double check, measure twice, cut once. The beauty of the cowhide leather is but even if you leave it like that, it will be fine. You don't need to overlock it. That's how it looks like now. So now I need to mark these corners. Okay, it's looking good. We can proceed to finishing our French seam. We have two rows of saddle stitch to go. We put our stitching item to be stitched on the broomstick and I will clamp it okay so there you go it's okay so this is my stool <coughs> and stitching push the right needle Catch it with the cross underneath. Now put the left needle through the same hole. Make a loop and pull. Okay, done. All right. As you can see, the stitching is done. I have two rows now and one in the middle. So the French seam is complete, it's nice and flat. Here we have double stitching, so it's never going to open. And these two stitches are holding the supporting piece strap. So very, very happy about it. Let's try it on the piano now. So the French seam is most likely on the middle C, because middle C is not exactly in the middle. It's slightly on the left. Okay, uh, since I made the piano cover from the cowhide leather, some of you might be wondering if I can play piano at all. The short answer is no. Okay, <laughs> let me try to make some noise on the piano.
classic piece that I'm still working on. Okay, <laughs> let's try something. Thank you so much for watching, please don't forget to subscribe to Tiger Carpenter and see you again in the next video, bye bye.